Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I have a special uh, package and a new deck to show you guys today. Yo! Okay, so here's the deck. Here's the deck. It, uh, oh wait, that's not the deck. <laughs> that was a stupid. I don't know why. That was here. Here. Here's the deck. Here's the deck that we're gonna showcase today. You guys are gonna absolutely love it. But first things first, I did get a package in the mail from Space Station Gaming. You guys are gonna actually love the stuff that I have in here because it's kind of cool. First off, this sweater, which is absolutely nuts comfortable. These sweet A socks, like. <laughs> Like, ooh, that's a lot of leg. Did I cut myself? Anyway, these sweet A socks that look so cool. I had to wear shorts even though it's the middle of winter here and there's three feet of snow outside. I had to wear shorts today. Uh, let me show you these things in order of coolness uh, because it is awesome. They gave me a genuine meteorite. Let me see if that'll focus. If not, I don't know. A genuine meteorite, which is so cool with a whole bunch of information about it, which is nice. A bottle opener, not too bad. Let's see if I can get it to focus on the Space Station Gaming part. Anyway, it says Space Station Gaming, which is cool. And then they sent me this secret opening box, which if you guys stick around till the end of the video, I might try to open this on video. I guess it's like a puzzle or something. But then if I open it on video, you guys will know where I store all my money from here on out. Because I'm going to put it in this box as a hidden... S anyway. That's the coolest thing. If you guys aren't from Idaho or Utah, you guys don't know what this is. This is legit fry sauce, okay? This is the stuff that people know and love. This is the number one condiment that people should be putting all over their stuff. Fry sauce, I'm not even kidding. Dip fries in it, sure. That's what my, my wife loves at. I put it on my hamburgers, I put it on my flipping uh, steak, I put it on literally everything. This stuff is amazing. This should be put in every restaurant in America, no doubt. Thank you so much Space Station Gaming for sending me this sweet package here. And if you guys haven't already, go check out all these Sweet channels here, A for Adley. My, my my daughter literally watches this every flipping day, which is nuts. Um, Sean Duras channel, and then go check out Space Station Gaming, Space Station Integrations and all that stuff. Way cool stuff, thank you so much for the box. That was a little long, but I think it was necessary because it's so cool. So I'm gonna wear this throughout the rest, obviously, the rest of the, I'm gonna showcase this deck, okay? Whew, that was good. I wonder how I'm gonna open this box. Like honestly, this is gonna be a struggle and a half to open up. We'll see how this goes. Okay, let's make this happen. Guys, this deck is quick, it's fun. You guys are gonna love it because you learn a lot about interactions. There are some predictions that need to be made with this deck. I made some sweet A predictions playing it yesterday and so um, that really sucks. Oh, I should use my Hunter there. Always use Hunter in that spot right there. It'll stop that entire, it'll stop that entire Goblin Barrel, which is great. If I'm playing bait again, dude, I'm so sick of playing bait, dude. All I do is play bait all day long, every day. Honestly, it gets old. It does. It just gets old. Uh, so he's going to put his princess at the bridge there, right here, I would imagine. No? Where's his princess? That's strange. Where's his princess? I'm still bugged that he hasn't put his princess out yet. We will save our log. We're going to go mini P.E.K.K.A. up on his knight. I guess he'll go Inferno Tower? I don't know what he'll do. Oh, Goblin Blade. That's what it is. Okay, that's fine. Here. Log. Boom. Skeletons. Boom. Excellent play. Dude, look at all these interactions here, guys. Watch this magic go down. Uh, magic Archer, would you just shoot, please? Thank you. Thank you. Missing that Dark Goblin. No big deal. We're going to go Hogs right here. Yes. Actually, legit worked out for us. I kind of wish the Magic Archer would shoot across the way. Oh, we got a shot, but we're okay with that. Let's go Mini Pack on the Princess. Maybe we can get to the tower. I don't know. No, he'll throw down his Valkyrie, or his Knight. He's got Valkyrie and Knight in this deck, and Rocket. What the flippin' heck is he doing? Okay, so we got this for his Goblin Barrel, if he throws it. Otherwise, the Knight will go ahead and die. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Valkyrie, I would imagine, coming down. No, Valkyrie? Okay, that's fine. We're gonna throw that up there. Go here, here. Let's get some Royal Hogs. He has to rocket that. If he doesn't rocket it, he'll... Oh, no! I missed the log! What the juke barrel, huh? I like his style. I like it. We're gonna go ahead and Earthquake, not the Princess, because why would we? Um, that makes more, no sense. You don't want to Earthquake the Princess, okay? 
Why would you do anything like that? Let's get this up here. Magic Archer's gonna do clutch. Taking that princess out. Yes, and we're gonna go hunter here like I told you guys in the beginning. Oh, it doesn't stop all damage. I thought it stopped all damage. Okay, so he did go like that. So we're gonna go with Royal Hogs, even though we don't have enough for Earthquake. We're gonna go Earthquake now. A little premature, baby. No, we're actually good with that. That was a good play. That was a good play. We actually got a bit of damage there. He's holding back here, guys. We gotta go here in case he drops his Princess of the Bridge. He's not gonna... Oh, he is gonna do it! Guys! That was what I'm talking about. That was the clutch plays. Oh, yes. Okay, that was the clutch plays I'm talking about, guys. We're gonna go here. That's actually gonna get mini P.E.K.K.A. if he goes Knight. Yes. We gotta save this. We gotta go here. Hopefully he goes with a nice... Oh, he didn't! Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're actually okay with that. We're gonna go the same thing. Boom. What? Okay, I have to go here. Unfortunately. Uh, here, here, here. He went deep with the barrel. That actually saved us quite a bit. So now we're going to go with hogs here. This is such a close battle. The only time I don't have earthquake ready. Okay, that's fine though. We're going to go log here. Come on. Get those hoggies on tower. Get those hoggies on tower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, here we go. We gotta go all out. Earthquake. Can we beat his rocket? Yes! Guys, not a bad win. Super happy with that play. I think I did really well there. there are only plus 26 trophies. Dude, I have a bone to pick with Supercell on this whole thing. They said that. Oh, this is so stupid. This is so stupid. Um. Anyway, that's besides the point. They said that you were gonna win the same amount as you lose, but so far I've been winning like small amounts and losing like 33. Dude, if I lose the next battle and lose it an amount there, dude, I'm gonna be flipping livid. Okay, let's go ahead and take this out. Dude, I've been playing bait decks non-stop when I play this deck. This deck inspires bait for some reason. <sighs> okay, we'll go golem here. Let's see what he does here. Uh, yeah. Goblin barrel. A little deep one. A little deep one. Okay, so I know this guy's a juker. <laughs> That's actually good for us. It's good to know, it's good to know your opponent. It's good to know your opponent. Activate King Tower, thank you. That's actually really good for us. We're gonna go for it. We are gonna go for it here. We're gonna go Skeletons here, perfect. Okay. Uh, not a great, not a great play for us yet. Uh, this is actually a tough, I've played this matchup before and it's actually pretty tough. I don't know where his Dark Goblin is, but I have to assume he has Dark Goblin. Um, he just hasn't played it yet. Okay, let's go Hunter up on that. There we go. There we go, not bad. Not bad. Let's see what he's got. So I have to go Mini P.E.K.K.A. back here to take out that knight. Okay. Easy sleazy lemon peasy here. That's okay, that's good play. Decent plays, decent plays all the way around. Here, and then he's got his Tesla. No, I missed the freaking. Oh. Okay, fair enough. I still got this for his Goblin Barrel. Let's see if he drops it. Kill that freaking. Oh my gosh, she is so annoying, isn't she? Oh, skeletons up here, I guess. Perfect. Come on, Magic Archer. I kind of want to lose this battle just to see how many trophies I lose, actually, to be honest with you. Okay, so he's going to poison that. That's fine. We're going to Earthquake prematurely. Get a little bit of damage on tower. Yes, we're going to get a lot of damage on tower, guys. A lot of damage. Okay, I'm actually okay with that. So that's fine. Dang, I thought we had that. I'm gonna have to stop this before. He's not. He's not using his goblin barrel. Dang, he stopped that. Good. good for him. Stop most of that. 
I just wish I could use my logs. You know what I'm saying? There we go. This is a play. This is a play. Come on. Get there. Get there. Get there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Oh, crap. Okay, that's fine. We got one little hoggy to get there. Oh, no, 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 no. He beat us. Dang it. I kind of want to see how many trophies I lost anyway. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, one loss isn't bad. Wait. Oh, okay. So I only lost 28. So I lost... I gained 26. I lost 28. It's still not... Usually, I would lose like 32. So I guess that's not as bad as what it had been in the... Okay, I'm going to win this one. Watch this action. I feel like I freaking should have won that one, actually. I screwed up a little bit there. Okay, so this one should be easy. Let's see what he's got. We're going to go Magic Archer up here. Magic Archer is going to do a great job cleaning up these dragons. He's got Mother Flippin' Witch, boys. So because he does have Mother Witch, I'm going to drop Hunter back here because I assume he's going to drop something in front of the Mother Witch. Yes, we got one shot off. That's good. Can't really use our skeletons, obviously, but that'll, that'll release a hoggy. Okay. Okay, good play. Good play by him, actually. That'll turn into that. We're gonna go Ice Golem here. What? Oh, I thought I missed that one. And then we're, we should be good to go with a Royal Hog situation here. I'm kind of uh, offended that the... <laughs> Okay, we're good here. We're good. I think I'm okay with that trade-off. We got a little bit more damage than I bargained for, so we're good. Let's go here. Here. We need pack up on that. There we go. There we go. Magic Archer's gonna die a slow, horrible death, but that's okay. We took that out, and we have a mini pack on the field just to distract and get a shot. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay, Ice Golem here. That should take care of most of those dragons, I would imagine. And then I assume he's going to go Mother Witch or... Yes, so we're going to go Royal Hogs this way. That was actually a pretty decent... We're going to log that. That should take out most of that. And then the Mother Witch will just die. She doesn't do much damage, so we're good. We're just going to let her go. I do applaud this guy for using Mother Witch, though, so... You gotta give him credit for that. Credit where credit's due type of thing. Let's go Hunter. Um, and then we got our mini P.E.K.K.A. The only thing that sucks is he does have the uh, bar board. And let's protect our magic archer here. Should stop most of that. He's gonna get a lot. He should get a lot. Magic Archer's getting a lot of value. A lot of value, guys. A lot of value. Let's go with a mini pack in here. Okay, happy with that. Happy with that. And then let's slow down this barbarian horde this time. That action, that action. We should be good to go for a win there. Yes! Okay. Not a bad play that time. That was actually some really legit plays. Okay, so only plus 26 again. Only plus 26. Um, this is crazy. I don't I thought for sure that you got plus 30 minus 30. No big deal. No big deal. Um This is crazy. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, so he's gonna go with that graveyard, that's good. That's okay, we got Magic Archer and we got Skeletons with a little bit of lag, no big deal. I'm okay with that play. Who goes naked graveyard right off the bat, dude? That's actually a, such a weird play. That sucks he has Bowler though, because Bowler's just gonna be super annoying. That actually might help us. Does Bowler stop there? <laughs> it's gotta be out of elixir. There's no. The good thing is, nothing can stop. Oh, dude, he's gonna level 11? 
Does Earthquake take that out? No. Not even a little bit. What am I thinking? Skeletons will take out the bowler! Yes! What a play with those skeletons, dude. What a play, dude. He's got to be like, dude, this guy's a boss in this game. And really, in all honesty, true story. <laughs> true story. Uh, okay, so we're going to go here, here. Let's just stop all of that. And let's wait for him to put his bowler down before we drop our piglets. I'm not going to put it down yet. Smart. Smart play. Bowler is devastating for piglets, so we're just going to chill. I might split them, actually. I might split them. Yeah, I'm going to split the hogs right here and make them decide. I imagine he'll go bowler right lane. No bowler. What? Tornado. Interesting. So he pulled all three of them, but that one hog to our lane that we're going for actually got away with it and started rocking his world. What? What? That's insanely awesome. Okay. Let's go here, here. Okay, so there's his bowler. That's fine. We'll go Hunter in the back. Um, I'm going to go Mini Pekka just to mess with his head. Yeah, I actually like that play. We're going to go Hogs, dude. If he's going to chill with us, we're going to go. Dude, we're going to go for it, man. We got full Mini Pekka. We got Hogs over there, dude. I don't know what this guy's doing, but I like his style. Okay. Killer skeletons. Dirty rotten no good son of a white monkey. Why would you do that to me? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're good. 14 seconds left. We're gonna get a good shot up on this tower too. I'm gonna just go for it. I'm gonna go earthquake. I'm gonna go hogs. I'm gonna get everything to just mess with him. There's nothing he can do. Three seconds left. That's a win. Not a bad thing. Shall I open this box? Okay. So here's what I'm going to do for the rest of the video. I'm going to open this box. This might be a little bit of a longer uh, video. So the difficulty level is 6. It says on here, I'm going to time myself. Only 28 trophies. See what I mean? So we're going to time myself to see how long it takes me to open this thing. Uh, uh, Let's we'll see if I can even get the package off here. Uh, if you require a solution, it says you can go look it up. I can't even get the package. Okay. Here we go. So obviously there's like a... Let me see what moves here. And this must slide up. That's almost sliding up. See that? Is that gap I have right there? I don't know if that slides up or out, but like, I don't know if that's supposed to happen. I've seen a lot of people use like these magnet things. So I'm gonna try to... There's definitely a magnet in there somewhere. So I just gotta figure out where, or there's like a, Spending so much time on this part, but maybe that's not even what I'm supposed to be doing. Maybe I gotta slide something else out. <sighs> Let's see, nothing else. Double happiness. It's difficulty level six, guys. That's pretty rough on me. I just don't wanna break it, you know? I never know what it's gonna take. Oh, that's actually quite a gap. Oh, I think I got something. I slid it down somehow. I got this off. I don't know what I did, honestly. There's like a little wood piece in there that was holding it from sliding out. Dude, I got it, you guys. I absolutely got it. I don't know how I got it, honestly, but I got it. Dude, I finally flipped and opened this thing. It only took me an hour and a half. But there's like pins in there everywhere holding this whole thing out. So you have to slide, dude, that's pretty smart. And there's like a little picture in here. Looks like a DoorDash coupon. Oh, cool. Uh, I've never used DoorDash before, but super excited. Um, honestly, I don't know how I opened it, but I didn't break anything for sure. And it's unlocked. Dude, that is so cool. That is so awesome. Anyway, thank you guys so much, Space Station, dude. You guys are so flipping awesome. This puzzle thing is so cool. I'm going to have my kids try to open it. That actually worked out legit. Um, honestly, that probably took me like at least seven minutes, even though I'm going to skip some of it. 
because I was just sitting here. So it took me like seven minutes. So cool. Anyway, so cool. Uh, did I show you guys the scan code for the DoorDash? I don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> I might delete that too. Anyway, take it easy. Good luck. We're out. Peace out.